The Denver Nuggets are struggling right now. They look slow. They look tired. They look discombobulated. Um, LeBron James in that Denver series was yelling and screaming and temper tantrum. No technical. And Mike Malone did the same thing in game two. No technical. I, I don't understand the NBA's rules. I, you, you, Anthony Edwards like scores or dunks the ball and he looks at somebody technical. LeBron James yells and screams in your face. No technical. A player dunks the ball and they hang on the rim for two seconds too late. Technical. Jason Tatum scores in the Miami series. He looks at somebody technical. Mike Malone comes all the way out past the basket to yell in the referee's face. No technical. Hit the like button. As I record this, Minnesota Timberwolves are up 2-0. I still believe the Nuggets will win this series because they have the experience. And you have to remember that legendary, iconic Rudy Tomjanovich quote, never underestimate the heart of a champion, even though they asked us is getting whooped. The Timberwolves without Rudy Gobert, they whooped the Nuggets. But this is not about the Timberwolves are a better team because the Timberwolves are not a better team. They are playing better, but they are not a better team. And this is a series. I don't do that nonsense of, oh my God, I'm so excited by Anthony Edwards as a new star, so I'm I, he's my favorite and the Timberwolves are great and the Nuggets are trash. No, I don't do that. No, I have composure. I still believe the Nuggets will win this series in six games. The Timberwolves have proved nothing. They've won nothing. They've done nothing. It's two games in a series. I don't hop on bandwagons. I don't, I don't, I don't get emotionally excited over a highlight reel. No. I still believe the Nuggets will win this series. And if the Timberwolves are successful and they win the series, then I think that you'd have to say that they're the favorite to get to the finals and win the championship. I think whoever wins this series will win the champ. Well, not win the championship. I think whoever wins this series will most likely get to the finals. I don't see the Thunder. I think the Mavericks will upset the Thunder in this series. Because once again, the Thunder don't have experience. That's very important. But I do think the Nuggets or Timberwolves will end up in that finals. I would love, and first of all, as long as LeBron James ain't in it, I don't care who wins. It's beautiful. As long as it ain't LeBron James. If the, if the Lakers cut him and, and, the, and if the Lakers get rid of LeBron James next year and the Lakers make it to the finals, great. As long as LeBron James ain't there. I don't care who wins the championship. Just not LeBron James stinking ass because he has ruined this game. He has tortured this league. He's He's disrespected every fan, every follower, every student of the history of this game, and he deserves nothing, and you cannot cheat this game. And LeBron James is seeing the uh, the receipts of him trying to cheat this game for the last 12 years, 15 years, 20 years, whatever it's been. If the Timberwolves get to the finals and win it, which I don't think they will win it, I think they can get there. And when I say I don't think they can win it, because I don't trust Anthony Towns. All it takes in sports is one idiot. You ever heard of J.R. Smith? Hit the like button. I'm waiting for Anthony Towns to ruin this series somehow. I'm waiting for him to ruin something. I, I do not trust Anthony Towns. And then you look at these other series, the Knicks. I knew the Knicks would win game one. Um, Hallib Halliburton was horrible. Once, once again, experience. A lot of these players, they freeze up at this time of year. Paul George. Paul George cost me money. James Harden. I loved him as a kid, but Tracy McGrady. A lot of these players freeze up, and Halliburton froze up. It's, it's the fourth quarter, and I'm looking at the stats. He got six points and eight assists. It's like, come on, come on man. Siakam has experience, but I don't trust him either. 
I don't the Pacers don't have experience. They're not conditioned to go. And Tyrese Halliburton, he's hurt. And he's been playing hurt since about late January. I don't know if people real realize that, recognize that. He's playing hurt. But still, you're playing. So you have to have more than six, eight points. You gotta have more than twelve points. You gotta have you, 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 you gotta have more than fifteen points. You gotta have more than yep, yeah, come on. You have to score. Halliburton needs to get 22, 23, 28, 35. He cannot have, it cannot be assist. He has to score. And another thing about Jalen Brunson, I think Jalen Brunson is a good player. I think he plays very hard. But I see people talk about, uh, look at what he's doing versus the Sixers and look at the playoffs. This is proof that Luka was holding him back in Dallas. What are you dumbasses talking about? This, this is what I mean by people who talk this game don't know it. Um, do you know what it means to hold somebody back? What are you talking about? No, Brunson wasn't scoring like this because in Dallas, Luka Donich was a dominant player and there were other players scoring the ball. Brunson is getting these type of 40-point games because who else on the Knicks is going to get their own shot? Mitchell Robinson? Josh Hart? No. Brunson's a good player, but this is a classic example of you're getting all these shots and points because you're on a team that doesn't have uh, scores and people who get their own shot. Take Jalen Brunson right now and put him on the Mavericks. He's not getting 40 points and 30 points, and it's not just because Luka's there. No, he's not that type of player. In New York, he's forced to be that type of player. They have no other options. And Thibodeau, and a big part of it is too, Thibodeau don't play a bench. Every Nick starter is playing 42 minutes every night. Thibodeau might use two or three players off the bench. This is why Derrick Rose don't have a career no more. Thibodeau plays his players into the ground. You have to have perspective of things. Everything can't be this emotional fandom. But as long as LeBron James don't win, I'm happy. I don't, I don't give a damn if the Thunder win it. I don't care if the Pacers win it. The Pacers will not win it. The Knicks will win this series. I'm, I'm going to do my predictions I, I, if I didn't do it before. I think the Nuggets come back and win this series. Um, if the Timberwolves, uh, you know, uh, take this series, then, um, they're going to the finals unless Towns messes it up or Conley, uh, tears something. He's an old man now. Come on, Mike Conley, do it for Greg Oden. Do it for Daquan Cook. Um, but I like the Nuggets to win this series in six or seven. I like the Mavericks to actually beat the, uh, Thunder in this series. Um... I like the Knicks to beat the Pacers. The Celtics, obviously, the Celtics are about to four one the Cavs. I think the Cavs, the Cavs will steal a game somewhere, but that'll be it. the the The, the Celtics will four one them, and Donovan uh, Mitchell will attempt to go to the Knicks in the offseason. Now, when that happens, once again, you might see what I'm saying next year when the Knicks have Brunson and Mitchell. Uh, Brunson, he'll he'll be back up around twenty three points a game. Or it might end up being one of those Zach Levine, DeRozan things where they both average twenty five, but then like the team ain't really what they could be or what they should be when you have two 25-point-per-game scorers. But um, the Celtics will win this series, series handily. They don't even need Porzingis to do it, I don't believe. But I think the Celtics, without Porzingis, they're not going to win the championship. They need Porzingis. They need, a, a, they need someone of his size and length. Pause. Donate to the Cash App in the description if you enjoy this channel, if you enjoy this content, uh, if, if you want to hear more. Uh, the cash app is dollar sign XDN online. The link is in the description of this video. You can hit the thanks button as well. Now, what other series? The Knicks, I got them beating the Pacers. The Celtics beating the Cavs. The Mavericks winning and the Nuggets winning. And I do think Brunson, um, first, first of all, I don't really see how Donich is an MVP candidate like that. Like, I don't think, I don't think he should be. And I don't, like, this year, I think I said it before a few videos ago, this year, it doesn't really have, like, a front-running MVP. Like, they kind of put the Joker in there because he's the Joker, and he does have the numbers. But, like, I wasn't impressed with the Joker this much that season, which is insane because the man always gets a double-double. He damn near almost gets a triple-double. That, that, that's how, that's how uh, impressive the Joker is. He does these insane numbers so much. It's like, it wasn't that impressive. But actually, it was. It's just ridiculous. But um, I think the two MVP candidate, candidates should be Gilgis and Brunson. 
Because before this season, um, could you really name four players on the Thunder outside of Gilgis and Holmgren? I think Gilgis and Brunson should be the two MVP candidates and then pick either one. Joker has had it a million times. Plus, Joker has a, such a good team, a good coach. The Thunder are, they kind of came out of nowhere to get the number one spot. And then the Knicks are number two in the East. So I think it should be Gil just should get it or Brunson. But they're going to give it to the Joker. But he, he is the best basketball player in the world. So it's not a robbery. But to me, this season, it wasn't really like a clear front runner. But with that said, I'm up out of here. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And that is it.